In this video, I'll explain how to install a PDF stamp into Acrobat or Reader on a Windows system. If you don't already know, a PDF stamp is a type of customizable markup for PDF documents. You can learn more about stamps and how they are used from our Stamps Gone Wild video at www.pdfscripting.com. However, for this tutorial, it is only important to know a PDF stamp is actually a regular PDF file. And PDF stamps are installed into Acrobat and Reader by placing them into one of two stamp file folders. Let's start by looking at the existing stamp tools in Acrobat. This presentation is being displayed in Acrobat DC on Windows 7. But the process for doing this is the same in all the latest versions of Windows and all the latest versions of Acrobat. The only differences are in the user interface, and these are minor. In both Acrobat and Reader DC, the stamp tools are accessed from the Tools Display. There are two different tool groups where you can find the stamps, the Comment Group and the Stamp Group. These groups are the same for both Acrobat and Reader, and both groups provide the same capabilities but we'll use the Stamps group because it's more explicit. The stamps themselves are chosen from this listing of stamp categories. Some of these stamps were installed with Acrobat, such as the Dynamic and Sign Here categories. And some of these were installed by the user, such as the Signature Stamp and the Auto Bubble Stamp. All of these stamps at the top of the listing are user-created or installed stamps. This distinction between the built-in stamps and the user stamps is very important because it represents the two different folder locations where stamps are installed. These two different file system locations are called the application and user folders. When you create a custom stamp using these stamp tools, Acrobat places those stamps into the user folder. Stamps in the user folder are only visible to a specific user on this system but there's nothing stopping you from moving your own stamp files into the application folder. Stamps in the application folder are visible to all users on the system. And this is where the built-in stamps are placed. Now let's get into some of the tools. The Manage Custom Stamps dialog displays a list of stamps and stamp categories. Notice that the Dynamic and Sign Here categories are not listed. This dialog only displays the user stamps, that is, the stamps that are placed into the user stamp folder. Many people make the mistake of thinking they can import an existing stamp file with this dialog. It doesn't work. As a matter of fact, I would suggest you never use the stamp manager to manipulate a stamp file that you have installed or created yourself. The reason is that when Acrobat manipulates a stamp file through this dialog or one of the other tools, it destroys all the dynamic features and essentially it destroys the original stamp file. This tool is only good for creating new static stamps. When it comes to installing an existing stamp file, you always do it manually. The other stamp tool is the Stamps Palette. This dialog clearly shows the two different types of stamps on the category drop-down. The categories listed on the top are all stamps in the application folder. You'll notice that it contains both the dynamic and sign here stamps, as well as the other built-in stamp files. The stamps listed below the divider are all stamp files in the user folder. Never use this button to import an existing stamp file. This is not an import button. Instead, it creates a new stamp file from the page graphics of an existing file and will destroy all dynamic features. So, let me emphasize this point again. If you have an existing stamp file, always copy it into the Acrobat stamp folders with the file system, doing it manually. Do not use the Stamp Manager or the Stamp Palette to do this. Now, Let's find the exact locations of these two stamp file folders. I'll use the Windows File Explorer to show you how to find these paths. First, the application level stamp folder is located in the area where the Acrobat application is installed, which on a Windows system is under the C directory Program Files x86. Then we follow the path down through the Adobe folder and you can see that I've had many different versions of Acrobat installed on this system. 
but the only really active version and the one that we're interested in is Acrobat DC. Below that is an Acrobat folder. Now this is the real location where the Acrobat application is installed. The folders above this are for Acrobat related tools, but this is where Acrobat itself is installed. And you can see there's many different subfolders under here. These subfolders are all for other tools and features within Acrobat. Most of them are settings files, and some of them uh, provide active content as well. And the one we're looking for is the plugins folder, and this is because features such as form fields and annotations are actually handled through plugins. These aren't really built in features of the main Acrobat application. And of course, for stamps, you need the annotations plugin because stamps are a type of annotation. Underneath annotations, there's a stamps folder and a language specific folder beneath that. This language specific folder, English in this case, contains a few familiar looking stamp file names, such as dynamic and sign here, which are stamp file categories. But you'll notice there's some other files in here that don't appear in the categories, such as faces, pointers, and words. These are actually very old stamp files that go back to early versions of Acrobat. They've kept these files in the installation, but they no longer work as stamp files. But if you're interested, you can always go in and take a look at them and see what's inside of these files. I always place stamps directly underneath the stamps folder. I only have one stamp file here now. This is the auto bubble stamp, which you can download from the pdfscripting.com site. So any files that appear underneath this stamps folder are application level stamps. And they'll appear in the application areas of the stamp tools that we looked at earlier. And there is the full path to this stamp folder. It'll be pretty much the same in every version of Acrobat on Windows, except of course for the Acrobat version indicator, and in this case it's DC. In other versions it'll be a number. Now let's find the user folder. So I'll close up the program files area. The user folders are located underneath the users area. To find my user folders, I have to go into my user area. It's underneath app data roaming Adobe. And again, you can see that there are several different Adobe programs in here. Acrobat is on top. There are several version specific folders below this area. We're interested in Acrobat DC. And in here, there's a stamps folder. These are all the stamps that appear in the user area within the stamp tools. And that is how you find the stamp folders. Full path to the user stamp folder is here. And the only difference between my path on my machine and the one on your machine will be the user name. Thank you for watching.